Five years old. I'll get myself a little AM radio station. It's pretty cool. Yes, it's not a day that base for base electronics, not white snake. Yeah, so this is, eh? You know what one of this is. This is cool. Yeah, I won't play too much of that because it's a, it's a not a day that base by base electronics. The remake of White Snake, uh, Scorpion Zun, Wind of Change song. It might still get the copyright. Just gotta be careful. I play a good track by um, Kevin McLeod. Should be allowed to play your songs. I'm just gonna give you some credit. I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, no. Kevin McLeod, let's put his name in. Hang on, I'll go unplug this thing. Hmm. I'm not playing that supposed to use a phone because it gets it interference because it's a phone, it doesn't like that. Uh, here's a good track, I'll plug it in. Not the best thing to use a phone because the touch doesn't work properly. Because it's get interfered by the uh, Tesla or the Slayer Exotter. Plug it in properly, that is. Ooh, Slayer Exciter. Pretty cool stuff. There's a radio picking up on the AM band. Station. That's a cool AM radio translator. Come here, sir. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come It's our radio station being picked up on this old Sony, which I've restored. I want to fix up the corrosion on the battery terminals. As soon as I put the back back on, it uh, doesn't work. I've got to clean up the corrosion better. Pretty loud. I do want an electro boom. I won't touch it because it'll burn a charcoal mark in my hand. Ooh, magic! Magic! Ooh! Do be careful because things like um, a knife where it's got metal that's plastic or a pencil, is a good example, will catch fire. So be careful. Not bad. Turn the radio off. This just give you a demonstration of what this in itself sounds like. Not bad. Not bad, is it? I'll get the other radio going. Yeah, the next room here, this old TAC. Before the track runs out, I'll get the uh, Yep. All over the bed. Just turn to a dead spot on the AM band and you should be able to pick it up pretty good. Exit the premises by Kevin McLeod in Compotech.com. I've got a link to this in the description. Oh, my hands not very good today. Jeez. Pretty cool, uh, got some cool stuff on the kit, on Logic, the software we use. Pretty cool stuff he does. Pay him a visit. He's got some good, um, good, uh, pretty good. Of course, a track like that sounds awesome on this thing. That sort of synth and electronic sort of music sounds good. No copyright sounds, some EDM. Doesn't sound too bad on this thing either. Of course, the best song will be Thunder by Imagine Dragons and ACDC Thunderstruck. You know, it's just that sort of power. 
It's a 32 volt raw ward, nice and warm. 100 to 240 volt compatible, so it's right for our voltage. 32 volt, 1.6 amp. Which is okay, didn't get too warm. I don't know why, but why would they scrape the numbers off? Come on, China. You're the one copying all their freaking technology. No, you're the one trying to make it so we can't copy yours. Idiots. It's just something that gets Dave, EEV block, Dave Jones triggered. Not a bad little circuit. This is pre assembled too, by the way. We've got a capacitor made by CGEGD.com. Not bad quality components, actually. Music Tesla coil. You've got your little uh, power regulator down there for the audio part. The iPhone. iPhones sometimes might like it because the digitizer gets a bit interfered with that. I'd unplug it to, to touch. I couldn't even uh, type. It would delete and delete and delete. Uh, unplug it. Just bear in mind, some equipment might not like this. Now, it comes with a little um, thing that spins, like EV blog made. But when they made this, it won't sit. This little thing is supposed to spin, and a jet of ions shoots off the back of these points and it spins around. And it's ion propulsion. But when you put this on, you see, when they soldered that, there's actually nowhere for the needle to sit into. That can't work. I'll have to make another one up to tell it balances and stays in there. That won't stay, that's going to fall off. And if it touches that secondary or goes near it, it'll arc it and destroy it. So I'll make my own little one of these. It actually balances well and stays on. But it's important, you've got to have that point on the on top of your coil there, otherwise it's just going to burn the secondary out. So it's extremely important to do that. This point is important for the arc to break out from. You have to have a point on something to arc from. You can touch it if you want. It won't shock you, but it will burn you. You get a burn mark, it hurts. It's like um, getting a hot needle and just pressing it into your finger. That's what it feels like. Not bad. I'm quite happy with this. This is my new AM radio station. Not only does it work well, but you definitely know it's on even without a radio receiver nearby. Nice. Quite happy with that. I've always wanted one of these. Anyway, thanks for watching.